Right, welcome back to the vlog. And yeah, you guessed it, I've come back to the sewer or the drain system here. Um, to be honest, all from last week while I was away, I couldn't help but think, you know, I wanted to get back there, to be honest. Last time I was here, I absolutely loved being here. So I thought to myself, you know, these days when I go fishing, I sort of come for the peace and the quiet, you know, a bit of tranquility. So that's why I've come back here, just to get away from the rat race back at home. I thought I'd just come and spend my afternoon here, you know. There's a little road just outside here with a little bit of traffic that goes up and down it for the next couple of hours. People probably travelling to work and stuff. But once that sort of dies down, it's lovely and peaceful here. And I did see some bigger carp in here. So I thought to myself, why not go back and see if I can catch one again. So throughout the day, I'll let you catch up with what I'm doing. And hopefully, I can catch you a carp live again for the cameras. Happy times as always. And yeah, enjoy. So right, yeah, like, down here where I'm actually fishing, um, to be honest, like, I've seen a, about three or four different carp. I'm not really sure on the size of, of the actual fish, but they, you know, they look big doubles, to be honest. One of them's a mirror, it's pretty small. Um, but every time I sort of get them feeding these fish, um, I've got this little fella and his mate. Yeah. Poor things, you know, they've been abandoned, I think. And, um... You know, they're pretty skinny, but um, they're sort of spooking the swim a little bit. They keep coming down into the water, as you can see. Um, yeah, and sort of like every every time I sort of get the fish going, um, the horses sort of come down into the water and the fish sort of like sort of move off for a little while. I sort of go back up to where my car's parked and stay there for 10 minutes and the horses sort of like go back up to the top of the ramp. And then when I come back down, sort of get the fish feeding again, and then the horses come down again. So at the moment, you know, I'm sort of fighting a battle against the horses at the moment. But um, yeah, it is what it is. To be honest, I've seen a couple of fish down in the reeds. So I am thinking about just going to the other side here and just lowering in a little bag with a little rig on it, a little multi-rig or something, um, and trying to get one off the bottom. So we'll see how it goes. But um, at the moment, you know, it's just nice being here, to be honest. So... You know, it's just nice and peaceful. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure we'll we'll get a bite. So um, yeah, I'll catch up with you soon. Is there anywhere else I can park so I'm not in your way? Yeah, fuck it. On the field, yeah? Yeah, you're 
So yeah, um, literally, um, the farmer's just turned up, you know, and he, and, he, and he's mate there. To be honest, I don't know if he's another farmer or whatever, but um, the farmer sort of came in in his truck, and then this fella just come jogging along the path. But um, yeah, sort of let him in. But I can't moan, you know, he's letting me fish here. I said to him, is there anywhere else I can park so I'm not in your way and stuff? And he said, no, you're fine, just leave it there. So um, he hasn't said to me, you can't fish here and, you know, you can't be here. So everyone else where I sort of parked a bit further up when I came last week said to me, like, there's no, you know, there's no parking here or you can't fish here and stuff like that. So to be honest, you know, I can't, I can't moan that he's sort of spooking, that he spooked the fish because he could have just said to me, listen, you can't fish here, go away. So... <laughs> That's one of them ones, catch 22, he sort of come in and spook the fish. The horses are spooking the fish. You can't win sometimes, but it's, it's nice, it's peaceful. And um, I will catch one, I'm, I'm pretty adamant. I'm sure that I will get one. <laughs> I'm gonna try anyway. So yeah, I'll, I'll keep you posted as I have been. Right, yeah, just chilling here now, just going to have a quick cup of coffee. Well, I say a quick cup of coffee, but the uh, the fold-up cooker there, sort of somehow got its way into inside the kettle. And for the last 10 minutes, it's been like the Krypton factor of me trying to get my uh, fold-up cooker out of the inside of the kettle. So, yeah, it's been a bit of a bloody episode, to be honest, just so I can have a quick cup of coffee. But we've done that. We're up, we're burning. So, um, yeah, just gonna have a quick cup off. The old Ridge Monkey, eh? The old Ridge Monkey uh, pop up. Pots, so they are, they've got like a little uh, insert that goes in them that you pull out and you lug the boilies in. I lodge the inserts. Coffee, tea, sugar, bang on that is. Absolutely bang on for that. So yeah, I've just been putting out a bit of bread basically. Um, I've took a rod down there, took a net down there. Just been throwing out a little bit of bread here and there, waiting to see if the carp actually start taking off the top. To be honest, I've just seen hundreds and hundreds of roads at the moment. I have got all sorts of gear with me. I've got little jigs, um, I've got some drop shot gear, I've got some uh, floats and stuff for a bit of live bait and stuff. I haven't actually got any maggots or anything like that, so I didn't get time yesterday to get to the shop to get any maggots. All I've got with me is bread, but that's, it's more than enough. I've got bread, pellets, boilies, cars absolutely loaded up with all sorts of bait. The only thing I haven't got is maggots, so just maybe think sweet corn in one other bucket so I suspect that's nice and mouldy now I'm gonna check that I'm gonna check that but yeah um, it's lovely it's peaceful that's what I want really I just want to get away from the rat race just chill out it's what we all want these days it's what I want anyway so I'll have this quick coffee and um yeah you see how we get on sweet Right, yeah, so literally, every time that mirror keeps on coming out, it's sort of taking one piece of bread every now and again, you know? But I did put about four or five handfuls of pellet down there, and every now and again I'm sort of getting a massive cloud up, so I don't know if it's him, I don't know if there's other carp there with him doing it. I have seen a couple of them milling about together, so... Yeah, what I'm going to do is, I'm literally just going to lower this down, couple of little PVA bags on a rig. We might be able to nail one.
Here we go. Here we go. Oh, nice fish. Go near to land it. Nice scaly one. Oh, look at that. Nice! Nice one! Yeah, absolutely buzzing. Uh, got a scaly mirror, slipped up. Um, I'm not sure how big it is yet. Um, looks decent size though for this little small drain. Looks like a double, maybe a mid double. But um, they're still down there fizzing up the bottom. So. Um, they're still now where I've just literally just caught it from. They're still just fizzing up the bottom, so they're not even spooked at all. So, yeah, no doubt I'm going to drop another rig down there and uh, hopefully we can get another one. But let's get this one out and have a look what it looks like. But it looks like an absolute banger from what I've seen of it so far. Over the moon with it, to be honest. Over the moon. So, um, yeah, let's get it out and have a little look at it. Well, hey, I said I'd get one. Little change of tactics. Um, they was being really cagey off the top, really, really cagey off the top. So I sort of went in with a little small bag, bit of pellet over the top of the pellet that I'd already put there. And this absolutely beauty, what a character this fish is. Proper old withered thing. Look at it, look at the scales on it. Small little tail. Don't think it's ever been caught before, to be honest. But um, I'm absolutely buzzing with that one. What a fish. Absolutely buzzing, look at that. Proper old gnarly thing, you know. It's proper wrinkly. I'll show you the other side. Um, wrinkly thing, small little towel. But stunning, you know, out of these small little drains, you know. This is what I come for, these sort of fish. Buzzing off of catching fish like this out of places like this. You'd never even think they was in there. So yeah, happy times. I'm absolutely sweating. Should have took my jumper off, but still. So yeah, let's get it back. Happy times, let's try and catch another one. There you go. What a fish. Have a look at that. Look, for the last time, returning it back. Beauty. Absolute beauty. Probably straight back to the spot. Straight back on the pellet. But there was more down there feeding when I had that one in the net. So, let's try and get another one. So yeah, um, I've come back to the car, said I was going to make up a few little bags and stuff and I remembered I said to you about the, uh, the sweet corn in the tin. Yeah, have a look at this. I think that's a little bit mouldy. I'm not 100% sure if it is, but I think it might be mouldy that sweet corn. Jesus, naughty. So right, yeah, they're still down there feeding. Literally, as soon as I got that fish in the net, I sort of scooped it up, came back across the bridge so I could get the mat and stuff ready, sort of checked down on the spot, and they're still fizzing up the bottom. So I'm gonna have another go. I'm using really, really simple tactics. All I'm using is a runny rig. Is it a runny? Yeah, runny rig, spinner rig, on a helicopter system with a small little cooler drop-off clip. Literally, I'm dropping the lead as soon as I get the take. Small little white pop-up. PVA bag with some pellets in it. I'm sort of dropping it down, and just like that fish there, as soon as the fish sort of like got hooked, it was sort of like 
as soon as it goes left, it's in a weed bed, so it didn't really fight straight away. As soon as it broke free of that little weed bed, it sort of woke up a little bit, and then it sort of went into another weed bed, so it didn't really give much of a fight. Unlike the common last week, which was on this side of the uh, the drain, it's relatively clearer of weed this side, so it didn't really, you know, that fish, that mirror didn't really fight as much as the common did, whereas the common was in, you know, pretty open water, so it was sort of going everywhere. But yeah, really simple tactics, you know, they work. No, no reason to complicate things. I'm literally just gonna lower that down now, try and get you another one. Happy times. Don't know if you can see that fizzing just out there on the edge of the reeds. Serious amount of fizzing. There's definitely a few carp down there feeding, 100%. Right, so unfortunately some of the video file footage had I got a little bit corrupted and I wasn't being able to uh, to save it so yeah what actually happened is I stayed at the drain for about an hour or so after catching that first fish and uh, nothing at all you know so I thought to myself I'm gonna go for a little drive go and look elsewhere up and down the drain see what I could see um, you know just a few different spots see if I could stop anywhere or if I could park anywhere different just have a little look in the drain um, as you can see here now, just down on the left, there's a little bridge there which goes over the drain as well. I did actually stop there on my way back, but um, was moved on. So yeah, couldn't stop there. But um, I let myself into this gate, and um, yeah, we go from there basically, sort of reversed in, and um, and a little wander. So we go back to the video footage. So yeah, I've sort of let myself in on that, uh, that little bit of land there, through that wooden gate. Um, there's an ass there, but uh, no one said anything to me yet. So I'm just going to wander up and down this bit, see if I can see anything. But to be honest, um, it's a lot wider here, um, and there's just no features in the water. There's no weed, there's no snags, and it just looks a bit dead of fish. But I'm going to have a little look for a little while. I'm going to walk further up, check it out, and if not, you know, I'll have a little look up there anyway, and if not, we'll go somewhere else. And it's just trying to find a few different spots, you know, so that when you sort of catch one, because it's so small, sort of, if the fish sort of spook, you want to go somewhere else for an hour or two, rather than just wasting your time sitting on the same spot. So that's what I'm trying to find, a few different places where I can just drop into, in and out of this little sewer system. So, yeah, I'm going to chuck a little bit of bread in, just a little bit further up here. And as I walk back, see if I can see anything taking it. So, yeah. Let's have a look. So yeah, I've, I've sort of just walked all the way up there, you know, on the way up, sort of chucking in bits of bread, and then on the way back, just checking, to be honest, and uh, nothing. To be honest, it, it, I'm not saying it's fishless, but it looks just dead, to be honest. There's no weed, um, there's no snags or nothing. It's just, it just looks like, you know, like, obviously like a cut. It looks a bit like a like canal. I think that's what it is, like an old canal. I'm, I'm really not sure. This bit's a lot different to the bit up there where I'm fishing, to be honest. Where I'm fishing, it's a lot narrower. This bit's a little bit wider, I'd say, another five feet wider. Um, it's a lot clearer. There's literally no snag at all, no weed, nothing. So I sort of walked it all the way and didn't see nothing. I did, you know, I was putting in, throwing in like the little bits of bread as well. I weren't even really seeing any roach either. So I just thought to myself, up there where I'm throwing in like little bits of bread, there's millions of roach as well. So. I'd give this one a miss and uh, I'm gonna go and find something else elsewhere. I'm not sure I'm even supposed to be in here to be honest, but you don't know unless you try, until you're told to go, you might have another look, innit? It's one of them ones, innit? That's what I'll do. <laughs> Alright, go and find something else. Find another bridge. But it's so wide here. 
It looks like a river, I think it's a bit, but I don't think it is because uh, there's no flow to it whatsoever. But, whoo, gonna have a look further up. So, I'm just out looking and looking and looking. So, yeah, I've, uh, I've parked somewhere else now, and um, there's a little fence here. And I'm gonna jump over it. turnstile, little gate. I'm jumping it. Because this leads to a river. Is it a river? I don't know. Ooh. Probably does have fish in there, but it's not what I'm looking for, to be honest. It is not what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go back to where we first started, and hopefully, the fish are back there too, and they're grabbing around on what I left for them. Because uh, this is not really what I'm looking for. Right, yeah, I'm back at the original spot where we caught the mirror this morning. And to be honest, um, I've been here about 45 minutes now. About, yeah, about 45 minutes an hour, and I haven't seen one single fish. Um, I've not seen one single carp, to be honest. Uh, I've seen millions and millions of roach smashing the bread that I've put out on the surface when I first got back here. But um, the baited spot where we put a bit of uh, boilies and a bit of pellet out this morning on the rushes, I haven't seen no activity there whatsoever. Nothing. Um, no towel patterns, no no fish cruising underneath the surface, no fizzing. I did bait another spot just down here because what I was originally intending to do was when I was going to come back, I was going to put um, a rod down there on this side of the bridge and obviously a rod on that side and sort of like just chill on the bridge sort of thing. But um, I've seen no activity, you know, and since catching that fish this morning, I think that the fish have obviously just moved off somewhere else. And what it is, it's gaining access to actually finding where the fish have gone. To be honest, you know, my guess, I would say they've, the fish have moved further up the drainage system up here but um, it's gaining access up there, you know. I probably can go up there, but I don't want to go up there until I've actually asked the farmer. Um, the farmer's been relatively good to me, to be honest. He hasn't really asked me to go anywhere or move or anything. He did say I can park my car on his bit of land there. So until I actually see him next time and say to him, like, is it okay for me to go up there for a little wander? I'm not actually going to go up there this time, just in case if he does come and says to me, like, what are you doing? Sort of ruins it for me fishing here because, you know, this is a good little spot, to be honest. But yeah, um, I've had a puck a day again caught another one out of here you know this is my sort of fishing like i love this style of fishing I'm, I'm not really mad on fishing lakes and stuff like that i do fish the odd day tickets here and there when i do like sort of overnight socials and stuff like that with friends and that but i'm not mad on that sort of fishing this is my sort of fishing you know the unknown i, I love that sort of you know that sort of aspect to it that i just i just don't know what's in here sort of thing and you know i sort of found these fish myself even though being told by somebody that there was actually carp in here i sort of come down here and sort of just looked about myself and just found this little spot and no and behold you know i've caught two in two trips so i'm absolutely buzzing you know sometimes i would come here and not even see anything so i'm buzzing that i've come here for the last couple of trips and i've caught one both times so i hope you've enjoyed it because um yeah i've had a great day it's mid afternoon now i think it's about half past two i've been here since about six this morning and i'm going to shoot off home now you know try and hopefully beat the uh, the rush hour traffic home but you know if, if you do you do if you don't you don't but happy times as always and uh, i've really enjoyed it today so i hope you have and i'll catch up with you soon cheers guys